tell you, one of the problems facing women in enjoyment of their rights is their access to justice. My name is Bernadette Lahai. I represent Kenema District and the Sierra Leone People's Party in Parliament. Our grandmother, she was the head of the secret society. So in the house that we are dwelling, where you ha we had a secret society uh, shrine, you know, you should not whistle in that house. And therefore, you know, our grandmother will always tell us not to whistle. So sometimes, you know, when I'm whistling in the house, my grandmother would drive me out and sometimes she would run after me with a cane, you know, that are abominating her society by whistling in the house and that me, I would be evoking evil spirits, you know. So even my mother, you know, she also is a traditionalist. She never went to school and therefore, you know, all of these things, you know, the woman should not whistle, a woman should be subservient, a woman should not argue with her husband. But then, to some men also, it's like challenging them when a woman whistles, you know, it's like taking on yourself, male quality that I'm strong, I'm this, you know, I just whistle, I like whistling. So sometimes people ask me, oh, you are a man. I say, why? Because women should not whistle. I grew up with a very strong character, even when I was small. You know, people will come and report me for standing up to them, you know. former president used to say, he says, quality men are not afraid of quality women. When you start seeing men, you know, putting all these roadblocks, you know, against women, they use that as a way, you know, of hiding sometimes their inefficiencies. But if you are confident, you will only see the, the, the presence of women as complementing your effort and not as something that is going to be detrimental to whatever you want to do. I'm on my way to town where I am looking forward to meeting Barbara and Salema too. We will be talking mostly on the progress we've made so far on the minimum 30% bill because we think that this bill will give women the space to increase our participation in governance. We've been advocating for over 10 years for an increase in women in decision making because we believe that if we have more women in decision making then they'll be able to push policies, laws and all of that to ensure that the lives of women in Sierra Leone improve. My name is Barbara Bangoa and I'm an activist campaigning for the advancement of women in Sierra Leone. You don't get up and say oh, I'm going into politics overnight, it, it will not work, you need to plan. Um, they need to have, we need to work with them and build their capacity in terms of public speaking, in terms of campaigning, in terms of sourcing out funding, you know. And another key thing which I think is really important for us, and I think it's important for all women anyway, is to have your family support and to prepare them. It's not just you being prepared, it's preparing your family because one of the things that they use, particularly in Sierra Leone and in Africa, is sexuality. They'll tell you you're a prostitute, they'll say you're going out with this man, and if your husband hasn't been prepared, you know, it'll, it'll, it could break the marriage. You need to demystify politics. Politics is seen as being dirty and violent. And I think it's deliberate to keep us out. So we need to get in there and make it clean, make it safer for everybody. I'm having a meeting with Bernadette and Salima too in about half an hour. I'm really looking forward to meeting them. I haven't seen Salima too in a while. 
the last time I saw her, she said she was going to go for a uh, member of parliament, which is plus, it's a step up from councillor. And um, I'm hoping that Bernadette, who is normally a role model, will be able to support her as well in you know, moving the process forward. Politics is about creating a space for yourself. Nobody will, just, will not just give it to you. So you have to prepare your mind for whatever. I am Salima Tukamara, a, a mother and the proprietress of the Anipoka Primary School. I'm planning to be a member of parliament. I find myself in a community where they look at women as well people that should not should just be at the kitchen and not in decision making. But I can equally think like a man, if not more than a man. They will say I am poor, I don't have money, I don't have money. Yeah, I'm happy that it's only poverty that you talk about, but you not talk about anything that is interfering with my credibility. You have seen around, you see the underdevelopment. It is written in the faces of the children, even, and even us as women. was really across the district. In fact, somebody wrote me a note. They said they are going to kidnap me. Yes. And one of my campaign members said, people are saying they will kidnap you until after elections. And the member of parliament actually took out a gun. People are harassing our women. I said, don't go there at night, but with the help of my guy, I came there and nothing happened. We were there till daybreak, the day for the elections. At the tail end of the nominations, somebody went ahead to get me out of the race. All of a sudden, when people are congratulating me, at night when the announcement we are out, I was Tipex. My name was Tipex and somebody else replaced a man. And when it is announced, I felt shocked. I was shocked. business. Right now we're trying to get the minimum 30% quota law in place and we hear a lot of talk about empowerment of women but it's not really happening. So for it to happen we really need to be there for each other and to build our self-confidence, our self-esteem. We're putting our bill in there, we will negotiate. We want it now. We want it now. <laughs> 